Hey guys, Killer6, and we found yet another legendary in a vending machine. Now, people are saying that the drop rates are more like Borderlands 1, but these drop rates and these machine legendary rates are even higher than they were in Borderlands 1, because it was quite a while before I saw my first legendary in a machine in Borderlands 1. I'm thinking like 30 levels or so, 25, 30 levels before I saw one. I'm not sure, it's been a while. But this one's called the Viral Marketer, and if this looks familiar, there's a good reason why. It is just like the conference call, but not quite. Um, now, given the fact that this one doesn't have perfect parts, and I know some people love perfect parts, <laughs> uh, this one does not perform all that well. As you can see, one of the things that I noticed is, uh, of course, with it being Hyperion, uh, it's a little wobbly at first, but aiming down sight, I noticed that the bullets are ricocheting hard to the left. Now I just assumed that was because of the wall being crooked. So I scoot forward, I shoot it off the ground, and I noticed that they, the bullets still ricochet off to the left. And here, even just looking straight down, they ricochet to the left. Alright, so let's come over to this side. I would think that they would ricochet to the right over here. No, they still pull hard to the left. So my initial reaction is this gun is not very good. But let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys have found one. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, I'll see you next time. Fabled Tortoise, this is the first legendary that I've gotten in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This time we're looking at a gun called the Vandergraffen. Now this should be one of the very first red...